After not making it past the first stage in the Xfinity Series season opening race at Daytona, Jeremy Clement showed improvement in Week 2, pulling off a 17th place run at Auto Club Speedway in Fontana. Heading into the season's third race at Las Vegas, the 37-year-old was looking for some better luck since his last trip out to the desert in October. That was the opening round of the 2021 playoffs, when Clemens met a similar fate as he did a few weeks ago at Daytona, exiting early from a crash that wasn't his fault. Las Vegas started off ominously with an accident between a young and a veteran driver on lap three. Clemens wasn't involved this time around. Instead, it was Ty Gibbs who got into the left rear of veteran Ryan Sieg, sending the number 39 car into the wall. Clements was ahead of the accident, but as a small family-run team, felt for Sieg and understood the frustration the driver later expressed in an interview. Yeah, I hated to see that happen, for sure. I mean, Ryan and, and his team works really hard, just like the rest of us, and... Uh, you, you hate to see somebody just get wrecked like that. And, and so early in the race, too, that, that's what sucks. It, it could have been definitely avoided. Um, but, you know, I don't think Ty did it on purpose, but still doesn't fix the race car and make up that race that he, you know, he finished wherever he finished in the back. And When racing action resumed, it stopped again for one of the more bizarre stoppages in NASCAR history. Snow in the desert. Clemens got some airtime with Fox during the break. After the unexpected red flag intermission, the drivers returned to racing. At the end of stage one, Clements finished 14th. After riding around in the pack and finishing 20th in stage two, things picked up in the final stage, including Austin Hill getting upset with Clements and flipping him the bird. The veteran was puzzled by the move of the young driver and said he wants to have a conversation with him to find out what prompted that action. Yeah, I don't know what his deal was, uh, and I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess he came up on me, and I didn't just, I, I don't even have a clue. Like, he never even got beside me, and when he did, uh, I kind of backed off just a hair just to let him go and get, you know, get back behind him. So, I don't know what his deal was, but uh, we'll have to In that final stage, as the laps dwindled, Clemens found himself in 11th position and looking to make a move inside the top 10. However, with a dozen laps remaining, he found himself making a different move to avoid disaster when a wreck unfolded in front of him. With his sudden reaction, he briefly got sideways and made a hard left turn down pit road with several other cars. Ah, uh, they just started wrecking big time off four from what I remember and then I've been through that grass here at Vegas, and it's it's rough as hell. Uh, so I knew I wasn't going to try to hit that, and then I knew if I stayed on the track, I might hit them. So I, I went to pit road, and, uh, and it's slick on pit road. So I about lost it for sure, but uh, gathered back up and, and kept her going. So we were very fortunate to get out of that one clean. While he reached ninth at one point in the final laps, the number 51 ended the day in 11th just outside of the top 10, and recorded the best result of the season. He hopes to continue his steady progression of improved performances and break into the top 10 at the final stop of the West Coast Swing this Saturday when the Xfinity Series races in Phoenix. And this would be the perfect track to do it. He finished 10th there a year ago.